welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am so excited for today's video. We are testing out the Ardell Aqua Lashes. So I first found these out on TikTok and then I was like, oh my God, these were built for me because I hate lash glue. There's something about putting glue on my eye just like, I could poke my eye with a mascara wand, but there's something about glue I just can't handle. And I hate wearing lashes because I feel like throughout the day, the edges come up and the glue is just like not as great, even if I put a decent amount, and it just ends up looking stupid. And I just really struggle to put them on, like to time it to where it's tacky enough. Like, I have issues when it comes to lashes. And I have successfully used a pair of magnetic ones that I really love. You know, the Eyelore Magnetic Lashes. And these look like something that would be absolutely perfect for what I'm looking for because I love the look of lashes, but I can just, I can't, I can't do them. I'm gonna be showing you how I put these on, how they last throughout the day, how they look, all of that good stuff. So keep on watching. If you would be so, so kind, I'd appreciate it if you could like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. I don't know what, just something. Okay, so in the pack, you get the lashes and then you get this little instruction manual. Easy, three-step application. So first you check the fit, align the band with your natural lash line to see if it'll fit. Okay, so it does have a really long band that you need to trim yourself, like regardless, it's extra long for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So I'm trying to show you up close, like the bands are extra long. So you will need to trim that. Hi, Nova. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna see how they fit. Okay, so they might actually be a little bit too long, but I'm gonna try it and see from there. So once you cut them, it says to activate the adhesive, immerse the lash band in warm water for 10 to 15 seconds. Ensure lash band is fully saturated before applying to lash line. Ah! Okay, so see, I have my lash. I have a bowl of water, and I'm just gonna dip that in there, I guess, for a little while. Okay, it's been 15 seconds. And then, okay, I can feel the adhesive, sure. It's like kind of on, it doesn't feel 100% stable yet. Okay, we, can't, we have it. Let's submerge this other one. 15. Give me a nice little shape as well to get it off all the lashes. Okay, am I doing this right? I'm having trouble with the end of this sticking down, so I'm just gonna hold it there. Okay, this new one does not wanna stay, so I'm gonna try dipping it again. Okay, so they're both on. They don't quite feel secure yet, so I would be careful with them initially until it feels like it's like really dry down. I struggle to put them on, but I struggle to put on any type of lashes, so if you are someone who's used to it, I feel like you won't really struggle. I had more difficulty with the second one in getting it to actually adhere to my skin. I don't know, maybe since the water was a little bit cooler than it was the first time, or I just, I don't know. Like I can feel the adhesive like coming off, but for some reason it doesn't want to stick down. Like The edges just don't want to stay there for some reason. They're very pretty, I like them. I think with the band, I'm gonna have to like fill in some eyeliner here to make it look a little less, not so strange. That's what I really have a hard time with, is with lash bands, they don't curve to the, the shape of my eye well enough, so I usually have to adjust my eyeliner because they want to, like I don't know if my eyes are just like too curved, but they don't wanna like do a little archy like that. And I, I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, the first one is starting to feel more secure. This one's getting there. Probably has to wait for them to fully dry, so it makes sense. You know what, it could also be that I'm wearing glitter on my eyelids today, so maybe it's just like under the band and not letting it adhere. This one feels better than this one. I think maybe when this one's a little bit drier and like the inside corner is laying down completely, that it'll feel better. I do feel them on. Okay, the edges are coming up, which I don't understand. Why does that always happen to me? The person on TikTok said that these could be reused, and I hope that's true, because otherwise you get one use and then you'd have to go back to using like regular lash glue. But she said that she was able to like re revitalize them with more water. Okay, I think we're definitely gonna try them out tomorrow without any glitter and see if it does better and maybe even without eyeliner. 
Maybe it just needs like a better surface to adhere to. To get the edges to go down, I took some like hot water on my finger from the faucet and I tried to press it down and hold it there. So that seemed to help for the time being. We'll see if it holds up. But um, I will wear these throughout the day and I guess keep you updated on how they feel, how they look, if they fall off, if they, I don't know, we'll see. So I have bad news and you can probably already tell, but I'm no longer wearing the lashes. I was just at dinner and one of them just fell off. I went to scratch near my eye and it was just like falling off and I, I, I could have tried to leave it on there, but I was worried that it would fall off and get lost somewhere. So I just took it off. It came off super easy. It felt like it was barely hanging on. And I ended up taking off the other one, which also, it came off pretty easily. It wasn't falling off yet, but really disappointing so far. I did see a lot of people saying this in the reviews when I did check on Ulta that the adhesive just isn't strong enough. Maybe just some things can't compare to standard lash glue, but we're gonna give this another try. Oh no, my earring fell out. But we will try this again on cleaner eyelids that don't have eyeshadow to see if it adheres better that way. Maybe it's the glitter, maybe it's the eyeshadow I used. That's what we'll be testing on the second day. They lasted for about seven hours, so not a ton. I mean, they're not bad if you're going to wear them for an event, but if you wanted to wear them all day like at work, as it stands right now, I don't think they would really last the entire day. However, we are going to give it another shot and hopefully figure out a way to wear these because I would love for these to not go to waste. And we'll also be able to test tomorrow if the adhesive can be reactivated, I guess, to use them again and again. Because I've heard people say that you can, but I'm also kind of like, I, I don't know, since it's like an adhe adhesive that is activated by water, like how many uses can you actually get out of them before it compromises the adhesive? We'll find out. Okay, so here's the update. Unfortunately, I was not able to put them on this morning. I tried for a long time, at least 15 minutes. I don't know if they just can't be used a second time, but the adhesive just was not strong enough. I tried leaving one of the lashes in for the recommended 10 to 15 seconds in the warm water. I tried leaving one in for 30 seconds to see if it just, if that made any difference, but as soon as I put them on my lashes, even if I held them down for a few seconds, they would pop right up. The edges would come up, they wouldn't lay down. It wouldn't adhere that great in the middle. And I had the issue with both lashes. So I'm not sure if this is a product where it is only a one use adhesive. I did look at reviews and things were kind of mixed. Some people said you could reuse them, but there were a lot of people also saying that the adhesive wasn't strong enough to either last throughout the day or to like completely sit down on their lashes. So it's possible that there's just a trick to this that you need to know. I'm not sure what the people are doing that are wearing them and reusing them because it just was not enough for me. Like I tried to get them to sit down for 15 minutes and at that point they were still coming up and I was like, this is just not gonna happen. So I didn't end up wearing them today, obviously, and I it personally, these are not for me. They didn't work how I had hoped they would work. In my experience, the adhesive was just not strong enough to last throughout the day and to keep the edges down. At the very least, at least I didn't waste my money entirely. I can use these with regular lash glue, which is good. So I will still use them, just not in the way that I intended. I was really hoping this would work, so I'm sorry that I, this is another video of a fail. I feel like a lot of the products I've been trying out lately have just been duds. So in my opinion, you just might want to pass on these and go with your normal lashes or magnetic lashes. I have a video on magnetic lashes and I still use those and I still like those. So if you're like me and you are horrible with applying lashes, those might be another good option for you. Otherwise, I feel like I should just keep practicing putting on lashes because these alternatives aren't always gonna compare to the lash glue. So, okay, that's all. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate every like and comment and view, and I really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more like this. Thank you so much for your support, and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.